before you use the sensor pen for the first time or any time at which you feel it's not operating as it should do, you're going to need to calibrate it. To do that, go into the machine settings, page five, and choose sensor function calibration. Touch the plus, the plus sign here. You can use this, by the way, to touch the screen. You're not pressing on the screen with it. You're just literally touching it as you would with your wand. And what we need to do here is touch the first point using the sensor pen as indicated. So we bring this over here. The important thing to do is think about the angle and the use of the pen so that you always use it in the same position and angle every time you use the pen. So find yourself a comfortable position with your hand and then just touch the first green mark on the machine. You then move to the second green mark, which is here, and touch that. Once you've done that, you've then calibrated the pen. Touch OK on the screen, and we're OK. There are four settings that you can use with the sewing part of the machine. Uh, using this icon here. One is for positioning the guideline marker. The other one is for repositioning your needle in a, into any position that you would like on your fabric. This one here, when you've got a stitch selected which has a width, will allow you to set the width of that stitch. And this final one here will enable you to set the end point of your stitching. So if you want your stitching to finish in a certain point on your fabric, you can touch that point of your fabric. Uh, it's also quite nice to use this to adjust a decorative stitch so that it automatically ends perfectly at the end of the, the, the stitch for you. After you've uh, calibrated your pen, it's okay to change to a larger table and you can also calibrate your pen if you like on your embroidery unit which has got the same green mark on it for calibrating but once you've calibrated uh, it doesn't matter whether or not you've got your accessory box on or whether you've got your embroidery unit on or even this large table you calibrate it and that's all that matters. I've chosen a left needle position stitch here and I'm going to use the setting for the guideline marker to enable me to stitch equidistant from some existing stitching that I already have here on the machine. So um, we can see by looking at this uh, gauge here that they've put on the screen that we've got the ability to be able to sew. Now this, this gray area here represents the seven millimeter swing of the needle. That would be the center position, three and a half millimeters. Our guideline marker is capable of going minus 3.5. In other words, 3.5 millimeters to the left of the needle and up to 15.5 to the right of the needle in this instance. I'm going to set my guideline marker. I actually want to stitch here. So I've got a flashing line at the moment because my guideline marker is in exactly in line with my needle in the left position and I would like to stitch equidistant from there to the left of my existing line. So all I'm going to do now is say I want to stitch equidistant from there. That's my guideline mark and I'm going to stitch down there. Now if that mark has gone slightly to the left or to the right of where you want it to be, if you move your pen away to another area over here you can increase that, line, that, that guideline marker by half millimeter increments. You can also go the other way. Okay, and you can get it exactly where you want it to be. Once that's in place, you can then either press OK on the screen or do a long touch to say OK, lower the presser foot and do your stitching. What I would like to do now is stitch 
uh, decorative stitch down the centre of this region and I would like, I'd like to set the width of that stitch using my centre pen. So I'm just going to scroll up here and choose that stitch and I'm going to set my guideline marker for a central position which is 3.5 and I can see then exactly where my central position is between those two lines. And I am now going to set up my stitch width by pressing the center pen icon here. Choose the width and it's telling me to touch the first point. I would like it to be quite narrow so I'm going to choose here and confirm. It's now asking me to set the second point which I'm going to do here and confirm. And now I'm going to follow that center line. I want to use the sensor pen to set up the needle position. If I look at my fabric and I decide that I want to have my position of my needle in a certain area here, I can choose this setting and it flashes uh, the guideline marker which is in line with the needle of its current position. But let's say I would like it to be here. I'll confirm that by a long touch. And what I would like to do now is stay equidistant from this line here. So all I need to do is go back into my settings, switch on the guideline marker and say that I would like that to be here. And confirm. And now I'm sewing exactly where I want my needle to be. One of the nice features about the sensor pen is that we can use it to ask the machine to stop at a certain end point. And providing we have chosen a design that's capable of doing this, it will actually recalculate the pattern of the design so that it will stitch a full sequence within uh, the distance that you have selected. Won't do it with every design. It's got to be small enough to be able to do that with and the machine will tell you whether it is or is not capable of doing that. So let's choose a design and, and go through that process. Um, I would suggest, uh, you, I mean you can do it with any of these utility stitches obviously for start and end pointing but it really comes into its own when you choose a decorative stitch. So. Let's say, for instance, that um, you, you're wondering where to go with this. If you, if you are choosing a decorative stitch, don't go for these, they're too big. Go for these instead, which are all within the swing of the needle. In other words, whenever you choose any of these stitches, you'll find that the width of these and the length is, is relatively um, doable, if you like, in terms of the size and the design. So let's choose a stitch. Uh, down here, we'll go for this one. And we'll start the start point here on the line and choose the end point. So we're going to here, choose the end point setting. And it's telling us to touch the ending point using the sensor pen. So I will touch the fabric here. And this icon here is telling me that it is capable of fitting that design equally into the distance that I've just selected. I could ignore it and say, just stitch it normal in its normal size, but I'm going to let it recalculate for me. I'm going to press OK. 
start the stitching. And when it gets to a certain point, the machine will then ask me to reconfirm the ending point. Just touching the same place again. And press OK just to confirm. And there we have a perfect fit. Let's say that we have a length of fabric then that is too long for us to choose the end point um, when we start the design itself. So let's set the start point here on the fabric and let's choose this design here which is in this section and we're going to have to start the stitching process Then when our end point comes within range of the sensor pen, we then choose the end point setting and touch the end point. Once again, the machine will ask us to reconfirm. Like magic, we have a perfect fit.